Just desserts. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. A watering can and straw hats. We can be dessert farmers. Yeah. <laughs> and grow cookies. Sweet. Go, go Kitty Kitties, kitties let's, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the general store. Hi. Do you sell seeds? We want to grow some desserts. Let me guess, you're hoping to win that blue ribbon today for best dessert in the county fair? I guess we are now. Well, I've got blueberry flambe trees, zesty cupcake bushes, lemon tart plants. How about some good old chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, we're old school. I'll make the holes, and you drop the seeds. Then I'll cover, and you water. Right. You poke, I'll plop, you squish, I'll splash. Cookies! Great! Let's collect them. I'll carry the basket and you put them in. Sure! Let's go! We're gonna win that blue ribbon for sure! Yeah! Dropped one. I'd hate to see it go to waste. Hey, no fair. I want to taste one too. Mmm. We got the winning cookies. We got the winning. Oh. What's wrong, Kit? Tummy oh. ache. I'll be right back. Are you all right, Kit? Oh, oh my stomach. Hurry up, Kit! I gotta get in there! What happened to us, Kate? It must be the cookies we ate! You're right. We better dump them. Oh, it's so much for winning that contest. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kittens? It seems you're not feeling well. Terrible is more like it. Oh, We grew chocolate chip cookies, but they made our tummies hurt. Why? Did you eat too many of them? No, I only ate one. Me too. Ugh. Strange. I've never heard of anyone getting a stomach ache from just one cookie. Are you sure you didn't eat something else? No. Hey, what is that on your paws? Dirt. I had to dig the holes. Oh, some of the dirt from my paws got on the cookie I ate, and that's what made me sick. But my hands weren't dirty. Wait, but your cookie fell on the ground, remember? Oh, right. So that's how dirt got into my tummy. Now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wash your hands before you eat. And never eat food that fell on the ground. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. And this time, we'll make sure no dirt gets into our tummies. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their farming adventure all over again. But this time, they were careful not to eat anything that could be dirty and make them sick. Better throw that cookie away, Kit. We don't want anyone to get sick from it. Good idea. And let's go wash our hands so we can give our cookies a taste. They're all clean. Now it's your turn, Kit. Thanks, Kate. Now all the dirt is gone. Mm, delicious! And this year's winner for best dessert goes to Kit and Kate! I sure hope the judge washed his hands. Oh, oh, excuse me. I guess he did it. And the winner is... What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. Racing goggles. And scarves. We can be race car drivers. Racy to it. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go. go.
Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and raced off to the starting line of the Speedster 500. Look, our race car. I'll be the driver. And I'll be the navigator. Here's the race map with the directions. So who are we racing against? Good luck to you, too. You're going to need it. Oh, you're going to win? We'll see about that. Racers, seat belts on. Go! Which way? Should I follow them? No, go right. It'll be fast. They are? How do you know? Because we passed them. They were stuck, and you didn't stop to see if they needed help? We couldn't. We wanted to win. Some winners. Yeah, more like losers. Let's make sure the ducks are OK. Come on. But we won. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the trophy for? For winning the race. You won? Then why do you look so sad? Because everyone called us losers. Why? They're mad we didn't stop and help the ducks. But we had to keep going so we could win. And are the ducks OK? We don't know. They never got here. Oh, now I understand. We cared more about winning than making sure that our friends were OK. Yeah, and you aren't a real winner if someone else has to get hurt for you to win. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll remember that winning isn't everything. Especially if you have friends that need your help. Now we know, so back we go. Kate and Kate started their racing adventure all over again. But this time, they remembered that even though they wanted to win, real winners make sure everyone who is playing is safe. We're catching up to them, Kate. We can win this. Look, the ducks got stuck in the mud. Let's make sure they're OK. Hang on, we can help you. I know what to do. We have a winner! Wait, if you all cross the finish line together, who's the winner? The winner is... Friendship! The Pet Set What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look! Balls, cars, springy thingies. Let's play with these. Nah, I'm tired of toys. Well, what else can we play with? How about a pet? We can play with that. Great idea. Let's get a pet. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran off to Pete's Get a Pet store. Hey, Pete, we're here to pick out a pet. Maybe I could interest you in a blobsicle. Mm, too blobby. How's about a prickly porcupine? Too prickly. Well, I've got one fuzzicle left. Too cute. 
We'll take it. Great. Here's your fuzzical starter kit. Defuzz brush, fuzz wash, and fuzz chow. Thanks. Come on, Kit. Let's go play with our new fuzzicle. Remember, take good care of it. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get to Mud Puddle Park and start the fun. Lie down. Roll over. Spin. Hop. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. I didn't say shit. <coughs> you didn't say cough, either. Kate, look. Great idea. You want to brush him? Don't be silly. That's no fun. Fuzzicle, fetch. I didn't know a brush could be a toy. Sure. Almost anything can be a toy. Wow. Look at him go. <laughs> Our physical is so dirty. And smelly. <laughs> and has funky fleas. Great idea. You want to wash it? Don't be silly. That's no fun. I'll blow bubbles and the physical can pop them. Go, fuzzy physical. Let's go. Kid and Kate were so excited to get ice cream, they ran off, leaving poor Fuzzicle behind. <laughs> leaving poor, coughing, itching, stinky, and hungry Fuzzicle behind. Where's Fuzzicle? Fuzzicle! 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 Oh no! Fuzzicle ran away! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What is wrong, kitties? Our pet Fuzzicle ran away. And playing with him was so much fun. Was your pet having fun too? Sure. I mean, I think so. But it was coughing. And scratching. And stinky. I bet it was hungry too. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Yeah, I guess not. We were having such a good time that we didn't think about how the Fuzzicle was feeling. Ah. <sighs> Now I understand. A pet isn't a toy that you can just play with. It's a living thing that you have to take care of. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, instead of thinking only about ourselves, we'll take really good care of our pet. For sure. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their pet adventure all over again. But this time, they brushed the fuzzicle. And when it got dirty, they washed it. And when it was time for a snack, they fed it too. Kid and Kate made their pet very happy. And that made the fuzzicle happy to play and play for the rest of the day. Because if you take care of your pet, the fun takes care of itself. A couple of quacks. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, stethoscopes. And doctor coats. Let's be doctors. Yeah, we'll be fun doctors that always keep our patients happy. Go, go kitty kitties, let's, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the hospital, ready to take care of their first patients. <coughs> Doctors, these ducks are sick. And if we don't get them better right away, they won't be able to dance in the ballet tonight. What should we do? It's all here on the paper, and everything you need is there on the table. You can count, count on us. us. Okay, ducks. Order number one. It's time for some warm algae soup. <laughs> we won't eat it. Of course not. You and I hate when Mom gives us yucky medicine. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's give him something that tastes better. Like candy. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! Order number two. Keep their heads covered. 
<laughs> Too itchy, huh? Then let's just cover their heads with these. <laughs> Isn't that much more fun than those itchy hats? <laughs> the Fun Doctors! All right now, order number three. Stay in bed. <laughs> I know you're not tired, but you need to rest. <laughs> He's right. They do need to practice their dance. Well, they just have to stay in bed, so I guess it's okay if they practice there. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! <laughs> Huh? Good heavens! These ducks aren't getting better. They've gotten worse. Much worse. I'll call the theater and tell them they have to cancel tonight's show. The ducks sure aren't having fun now. Me neither. Me neither. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, doctors? We were supposed to help the ducks get better so they could dance in the ballet tonight. But they didn't get better, and now they have to miss it. Well, how did you treat them? We tried to make things as fun as we could for them. Because what the head doctor wanted us to do wasn't fun at all. Well, did they have fun? Of course. They got to eat candy and wear funny hats and jump up and down on the bed. And did having fun help them get better? No, it just made them sicker. Hey, I understand. Trying to get well when you're sick might not be fun. But if you do the right things, you'll have a whole lot more fun when you're all better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kit. But this time, let's not be fun doctors. Let's just be good doctors. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their doctor adventure all over again, but this time they made the ducks do just what the doctor ordered. I know it's yucky, but it'll help you get better. <coughs> now that's a smart duck. <coughs> now let's get these warm hats on. And stay under those covers, guys. You need your rest. Shh. Shh. The good doctor. Well, how are our little feathered friends? Excellent work, doctors. A full recovery, and just in time. And by being good doctors, Kit and Kate helped the ducks get better in time for their Duck Lake debut. Now this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> One big mess. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, flight helmets. Let's be jet pilots. Yeah, and do supersonic loop-de-loops. Go, go Katie Kitties, Kitties, let's, let's go. go! Kid and Kate took off from their magical box and flew nonstop to the supersonic city airport. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, ooh, mayday! Mayday! Woo! Didn't see you kitties come in. What can I do you for? We'd like to fly a jet, please. Sure, how about that one? Wow! Hmm, where did I put that key? All right, it's back in my office. I'm kind of busy right now, so feel free to go on in and find that key. I know it's in there. No problem! We'll be flying in no time, Kate. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Yeah, just a bit. If you just put these things back on the shelves, I'm sure you'll find that key in there. This is one big mess. There's no way we can clean up all of this and find that key. I know what to do. This magnet will find the key. Watch! I think I got it, Kate! That's a fork! Look out! Did you find it? No. Well, I know it's in there. Well, if you can't go through, 
go under. Are you sure this is the right way? Oh, yeah. That key should be right over our head. Did you find it? Not exactly. I know it's in there. We'll just go out to the middle of the room and look straight down. It'll be so much easier to see it from up here. Hey, thanks for bringing my stuff down from the attic. Did you find that key? No. I know it's in there somewhere. Forget it, Kate. We'll never find that key. Yeah, and it's already getting dark. So much for flying today. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter? We wanted to go flying, but we couldn't find the key to the jet. Why not? It's lost in the middle of a really messy office. Yeah, it's just one big mess. One big mess? You mean it's all stuck together? Don't be silly. It's a lot of little things in a big pile. Well, could you put away one of those things? Sure. How about two little things? No problem. And how about three? Now I understand. A big job isn't so big if you see it as lots of little jobs. Now that kind of thinking is the key to success. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time we'll remember that if you need to do something big, just do a little at a time. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their supersonic adventure all over again. But this time, instead of thinking they had to get through one big mess, they looked at their job a little differently. A big job's nothing but a bunch of little ones. A bunch of little ones, a bunch of little ones A big job's nothing but a bunch of little ones Move a bunch of ounces and soon you move the ton Look, Kit! I found the key! I knew it was in here! Come on, Kate! It's time for a little flying! Hold on, Kate! Whoop the loop! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Time sure flies when you're having a little fun! <laughs> That's everything. I'm going to donate these to the nursery school. <laughs>